debris from the stormy weather after a very rare tornado warning. Fox 13 News reporter Jennifer Lee is live in Silverdale with the wild weather that caught people off guard there. Jen? Yes, Jamie, people were definitely caught off guard. We've been talking to them all day about this tornado warning. A couple of them tell me they work inside this building that is mostly glass windows. They had to find a safe place to hunker down inside. All three of our phones went off at the same time. I thought it was an Amber Alert. We all got the alert on our phone and naturally panicked. Just after 1130 Tuesday morning, the National Weather Service issuing a tornado warning in East Central Kitsap County, telling people to take shelter and to protect themselves from flying debris. We hunkered down, just tried to not panic in our office that is mostly made of glass windows. So that was a little scary. The hail was wild, but we made it. This was the rush of hail from Polsbo. And this video taken from breaking winds brewing in Silverdale. Well, it hurts. Reinald says he was putting up Christmas lights at the brewery when the severe weather rolled in. They were like size of a pea. They were starting to hurt. We had our, our hoods over and we just were like, oh, we're going to go inside. To everyone's relief, the tornado warning was canceled just after 12 p.m. Didn't have anywhere to duck and cover in my salon, though. I don't have a basement, so... We're not built like Kansas. But even with no tornado, locals say this day will go down in their memory books. Crazy hailstorm came through and massive rain came through and and it was windy. So it was so crazy and it still seemed likely. Weird, weird day. This that fall weather, you can't trust any of it. Yeah, that's one way to sum it up. So in the end, that tornado warning was canceled, but if anything, it gave people a chance to take a closer look inside their homes and workplaces to, to come up with a safety plan in case of a future event. For now, reporting live in Silverdale, Jennifer Lee, Fox 13 News.